Uh, yesterday, we dealt with the first portion of the verse that says, for the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life. And that is found in Romans chapter 6 and verse 23. I wanted to continue because a lot of times we fail to recognize that as we involve our lives in variant practices, we do not realize that there is a law at work that says what a man sows, that shall he reap. That law can only be uh, diverted or changed or transformed by an act of mercy and grace. So the Bible says, the wages of sin is death. If I continue to live a life of perpetual, consistent, intentional sin, it means if I plan to do it and then I continue to involve myself in that type of lifestyle, it will result in, yes, my death. And I wanted to add, because a lot of times we spiritualize the scripture to the extent that it has no physical implication. But let me inform you, not only will you die spiritually, but it will shorten your life on the planet. Righteousness, there is a reason why righteousness exalts a nation. It is because as we do right, we incur a blessing. When we, when we do things in obedience to God, we incur a blessing because the law of reciprocity simply says that what a man sows, that shall he reap. We cannot afford to remain in sin and think because we know God, we're free. No, sin will kill us physically, morally, relationally, spiritually. Sin will kill us and it will do so at varying junctions and at varying situations. We will begin to realize the results of our practices. So this, this morning I'm saying, why not walk away from a relational sinful practice? Why not walk away from those decisions that we're involved in that are leaving us less than godly? Why not walk away from those practices we know that are in direct uh, opposition to what God requires? Why not walk away from sin today? Why not avoid the penalty by leaving the practice? God bless.